Hey everybody, this video is going to be about how to program an FTC robot using the blocks method. So um, basically with this robot, what we got here is um, it's going to drive one way, drive the other way, turn, turn the other way. Then we have um, this button right here is going to be to lift this up, lift this down, and then if I hit this uh, but right here, if I hold it, closes it, let go. So that's how um, I'm programming it. And I'm supplying this um, file uh, to my students. So to get this started, I basically went here. I picked the um, program teleop test, initialized, hit play, and then hold down the start and A button together to get this joystick. So now we're going to go over um, programming it. And as far as programming it goes, it's the, um, this is all connected now. So I'm just going to go ahead and do program and manage. And then here it's going to tell me my Wi-Fi network, the Wi-Fi password. And once I'm connected to that, I go to this IP address and port number, and that's going to basically get me to my programming screen. So now we're going to take a look at this program that controls the robot that you just saw. Basically, we can drag in all these different uh, blocks in here. So what's going to happen here is um, we have this line here in case we need to reverse one of the motor so that it drives um, in the correct direction. So you might hit reverse on the right motor or left. And now we have a um, this statement here. It's going to go from the top down. So it's going to it's going to repeat this while the program is running. And um, these first two lines right here, um, we have it to where uh, this is cubed. So if you look at the left picture, when I go forward on the joystick, um, it's going to accelerate rather quickly, whereas um, it's usually better to have the robot accelerate um, more slowly um, so you have a little bit better control. So if you want to have this type of control, then you would do these two lines right there, this line and this line. Um, so basically what's going to happen now is um, when it comes to gamepad 1, you can have more than one gamepad, but we're just going to use one gamepad. Um, you can see we have the right stick Y and X. And so this is going to, this is going to just basically going to have the robot drive with the right joystick. and. Um, I'll scoot over a little bit here. You can see that's the end of it. All right, so now let me scroll down here. So here we have an if do else statement. So what this means is that on gamepad one, if we press the left bumper, it's going to go ahead and set um, the servo, the one called lower right, to zero. And by the way, servos in FTC. Um, the range is 0 to 1. So 1 would be max one direction and 0 would be a direction the opposite way. So if I press the left bumper, it's going to execute these four lines. It's going to put this one, these two at 0, and um, the lower left and this one at 1. Okay. If I'm not pressing the left bumper, then else it's going to do these commands right here. So it's going to do these four things. It's going to basically set it um, to these four values. Okay? Now, the next thing is we have this lifter, the lifter that would kind of take the block up. We have again an if do else block here. So on gamepad 1, if we do the D-pad up, 
remember that the D pad was um, that up one right there. So if we do D pad up, it's going to set the left uh, motor to a power of negative 0.4. Um, but if we're not doing that else, it's going to do this if do else here. Um, if we do D pad down, then what's going to happen, it's going to set it, the left motor, to power 0.3, kind of a slower speed. Um, else, um, it's going to do nothing and put it at zero. And then the telemetry is not necessary, but it just gives feedback on your driver station, and it's helpful in troubleshooting. And that's the end of the program. So if, if you copy this um, and or tweak it, you should be able to get your a program working. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is look at an autonomous program. When you do an autonomous program, if you click this autonomous, the only really thing that does is that on your phone, you're going to, instead of hitting the right arrow, you're going to do the left arrow. The left arrow is re reserved for autonomous programs. The right is reserved for teleop. So you go like this, and I have this um, autonomous program. So there's more than one way to do this. The way this program is going to work is on the left side here is our main program. And then these functions here are going to call out functions on the right side. And it's going to make it a little more organized in comparison, this program could be just super long and more difficult to read, but I think you'll see why this is a little bit easier to read. So basically, what's going to happen is uh, we're going to wait till we press the start button here and wait for start. Might have to reverse the motor. And here's our first function. And down here, by the way, functions, this is how you, you, know, you drag it in, and that's how you get started doing it. You would just drag in a function, and then you could use these buttons here to get started. So anyways, it says drive distance. That's the name of this one. It's going to go 4,000 or 4 seconds, left and right power at 0.3. Then what's going to happen is over here, it says drive distance. So when this is called, the program is going to go and execute all these things here. Okay, so that's how that's going to work. Then we have an intake. So it's going to execute the intake next. And I'll scroll down here. And then it's going to execute this block right here, this, this function. And so basically, that's how the program is set up. So it's going to go intake, a small delay. Then it's going to raise the lifter, execute the block on the right side, drive a certain distance. And drive the distance again, maybe do a turn, um, have a delay. Then it's going to do this outtake thing. And so by having your main program on the left, it's, it's really easy to change these values to get the robot to go and turn and lift and grab things. Um, whereas on the right side here, um, again, it's, it's on the right side, but it's kind of more separated and organized. So it's not the only way to do it, but um, the way I was taught by my mentor is um, this is a, a more organized way of programming. So. Um, you can look at this block here in the outtake. We have a delay block. We'll scroll over so you can see. Let's see if I can focus this here. And then we have um, lower lifter, and that's it. So you can see we have 
all of these blocks on the right are executed as the main program goes down top to bottom in order. It's possible to have the robot do multiple things at once, but it's much more complicated. And for this beginning class, we're just going to do one thing at a time to keep things simple. But it is possible. Okay, now I'll check out this robot.